Welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome back. to the weekend. Weather-wise, it's going to be a nice weekend here in Acadiana, so I uh, definitely want to take advantage of that. Uh, get the pipes prepared, insulated, wrapped in preparation of the hard freezes that we're going to see early next week. Uh, so take a look at that extended outlook in just a second. So I have a light freeze to talk about tonight, by the way. So here we go with temperatures across the lower 48. Pretty chilly out there tonight in Acadiana uh, early this evening. Really most of us low to mid 40s at the top of the hour, but look to the north and west where that Arctic air has been building in Canada over the past couple of days. Uh oh, it is starting to drop southward into the mountain west. Look at that. We're at uh, negative 30 in Great Falls negative 22 the current temperature there in Billings. Obviously, we're not going to see temperatures like that, but the air mass is dropping southward and we'll get a taste of it as mentioned as we head into the early portions of next week. 44 at the top of the hour here in Lafayette. Very uh, dry air mass in place with those dew points in the 20s after we had that cold front push through early this morning. It was one of those weird days where the high temperatures occurred this morning in the lower 70s and then readings kind of uh, steadily uh, fell throughout the afternoon and evening hours. Mostly clear skies in place. It was windy out there today as well. Still somewhat breezy this evening, but those winds will continue to relax as the night wears on. So with lighter winds eventually and clear skies in place, that's going to allow temperatures to drop. So most of us heading for a light freeze by tomorrow morning will be in the lower 30s. So uh, it's pets, plants, make sure those are uh, protected uh, people as well. But the pipes are OK this go round. That's not going to be an issue until next until next week. Mostly sunny for the day tomorrow. So nice looking day. Cool and comfortable mid to upper 50s into the afternoon. Uh, winds much lighter uh, than today. They'll be out of the south at around four to eight miles per hour. Chilly tomorrow night into Sunday, upper 30s to lower 40s. Uh, and then that Arctic front's going to start to push through, but really the coldest of the air is going to lag behind just a bit. So still going to be in the 50s for our Sunday afternoon under mostly sunny skies. And then as we head into Monday, it's going to be one of those days where I think temperatures uh, kind of steadily fall through the afternoon and evening hours. At the same time, our low level moisture is going to be increasing. So uh, showers moving in for Monday afternoon into the evening hours and then some moisture could linger into the overnight hours and then early morning hours of our Tuesday. At the same time, we're going to see some of the coldest of that Arctic air start to rush into Acadiana. So there is a small window uh, to where some of that light rain could briefly change over to freezing rain, uh, but again, we're not expecting significant accumulations or anything like that. Not really foreseeing uh, too many travel issues as well. But even with that being said, there could be certain bridges, maybe certain roadways, especially for northern Acadiana that could be slippery or have slippery spots first thing uh, for Tuesday morning for that uh, Tuesday morning commute. But other than that, skies will turn mostly sunny into our Tuesday afternoon. Should get a couple of hours above freezing and then we'll kind of enter in a, more of an uh, extended period of time of temperatures at or below freezing. That's going to start Tuesday evening and then last at about mid morning on Wednesday. So coldest mornings for next week. Definitely going to be Tuesday and Wednesday mid to upper 20s for Tuesday morning and then Wednesday morning. I think we see temperatures dropping upper teens to lower 20s area wide. But you factor in the wind chill. It's going to be feeling like the teens pretty much area wide first thing Tuesday morning and then probably feeling even a little bit colder than that as we head into Wednesday morning lower teens and maybe some locations flirting with the single digits. So bottom line, have the heavy jackets and coats ready to go and use this weekend uh, to wrap and insulate those exposed pipes, especially if it's going to be an issue at your home. 31 the projected low tonight, so a light freeze, some patchy frost as long as the winds continue to settle down. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. 58 tomorrow afternoon, cool and comfortable, mostly sunny skies. It's going to be a nice and cool looking weekend for sure. Here's that Arctic front on Monday. Uh, some showers for the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, again, as mentioned, if some of that moisture lingers into Monday night, early Tuesday morning, we could see a light wintry mix, mainly for northern Acadiana, but no significant impacts expected. Uh, very cold Tuesday until Wednesday, only a few degrees above freezing for Tuesday after that hard freeze uh, for the start and then upper teens, lower 20s. First thing Wednesday morning, mid 40s, Wednesday afternoon, warming up briefly for Thursday, but then here comes another front and that one could yet again uh, send in another shot of some Arctic air as we head into next week. And of course, we'll have more on that in the days ahead and as it gets a little 
little closer. 31 later on tonight into tomorrow morning will be near 58 tomorrow afternoon under mostly sunny skies. That's a look at weather for now. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.